Frack on. Welcome to the episode of Frack the Cannon. This is one of our Halloween episodes. Uh, I am joined by my brother from another mother, CJ McCree. What is up, good sir? What's up, man? I'm feeling good, feeling great. So this one we're talking about, uh, thinking about telling some of our, uh, I guess for lack of our real ghost stories, like our paranormal experiences, I guess. I don't know what else you would call them. I'll, well, look, listen, I'll say this. I don't know. I've had two paranormal experiences in my life, right? And I say paranormal because I don't know how else to call it. Mm-hmm. And even though we're about to tell you some real ghost stories, I still don't know that I believe in ghosts. <laughs> like, I still don't know that I believe in it, that ghosts exist. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll say that right now. I've had a couple, I've had more, more than a couple, a handful of uh, paranormal experiences myself. But uh, this one, I want to start this one, because we sh- it was it's a shared experience. But it started with you back in our film school days. Take a shot. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. <laughs> All right. So this happened when we were at Brooks, right? We were filming my portfolio film. Yes. This yeah. was, I was setting up, we were, I was finishing up filming, we were filming, what were we filming? The news report scene. Mm-hmm. Right, we were at the South we were doing that, I was, uh, me and- Nicole Milne. Uh, were trying to put together a dungeon and a set at the old Brooks campus known as the Mexican Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we were, we were, yeah, we were, we were like putting a, we were like the inside of it is just kind of like this hollowed out space because the outside of it looks like this like Mexican village. And I think they shot some of uh, what three amigos there, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, like so. Um, but inside of this, like, uh, I don't know, what was that? Like a bar or something? I don't know. <laughs> it, was like a a jail it, was it was like a jail cell. It was like a jail cell, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was like inside of the police station, it was all hollowed out. So like it didn't really look like anything. So we were building like this, like, dungeon looking area for uh the film that uh we were shooting uh, for renee so anyway just me and this other person we're uh we're building this set we're just putting up this stuff you know and we keep hearing this this like i don't know it's it's a weird sound like the, the kind of like footsteps scuffling across the ground um because it was like kind of hard cement where we were yeah the thing is is yeah. every everything around the area was was gravel so if anybody is like, you can't sneak up on us. You know what I mean? Like you can't sneak up on somebody if gravel is around because if you've ever had gravel or been around gravel, you know, you can hear it when somebody is walking on it, you know? Um, so anyways, but we keep hearing these little like foot scuffling sounds. Um, and so we just, you know, we're kind of like every, every once in a while we're kind of looking around like we don't see anything, um, but it's like, you know, unnerving a bit you know it's, it's just freaking it us was out late a at bit. night too it was like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock wasn't it it was dark it well i can't i don't know if it was like it was dark in there because there was no yeah. inside but i feel like there was still a little bit of light outside though i don't know i feel like there was still a little bit of light outside but um you know memory plays with you you know the, the further away you get from it <laughs> but this was 2007 so it was before right. my birthday yeah i do remember that yeah um so anyways but we we kept hearing this and and um now me me and the uh me and the lady that were uh building this set here (laughs) we're we're starting to get a bit freaked out um we were looking at each other you know now kind of weird and you know she's like kind of getting freaked out and you know so i i I kind of reassure her like okay so check this out like we can't just like go we have to get this done like we can't just go say like, hey, like there's a freaking ghost in here. Like freaking, <laughs> like can't do this. You know what I mean? Like that's I'm just the practical one. I'm being the practical guy. Like we gotta get this. We gotta have to do this. You know? And so like freaking, but it keeps happening. And you know I'm free. Uh, you know I'm I'm freaked out too. So I was like, okay, so check this. I was like, let's get. And I don't know what made me say him, but I said let's get Renee. Like not everybody. You know, I said, let's go get Renee and tell him to come help us. Tell him we need some help putting this up, right? Like, because my thing is like, okay, about three people, you know, but we still need to film a movie over there. You know what I mean? You guys are still shooting. So we can't like just, you can't stop production. Can't get everybody in here. So I'm like, you know, Renee's like co-director. Like, Mm -hmm. let's get Renee over here to come help us. Say we just need some help with this. That's right. That's right. 
and let's bring him into this. Like, let's not tell, and, and I specifically told her, I said, let's not tell him why we need the help. Like, let's not tell him, like, it's because we're freaked out. You know what I mean? Let's just say, like, we just need some help. You know what I mean? Like, so we went to get Renee, and I'm going to turn the story over to you because <laughs> intro, intro to you. Because I thought you guys were messy with me. You guys were frank. Because you guys know I get scared very easily. I can't do scary movies. Like, and I, so I'm like, okay, I'm like, all right, I'll help you guys go. But as I'm walking forward to the, like, you guys step back, you guys start slowing down. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? I'm like, they're going to mess with me. So I'm like, I'm going to mess with them a little bit too. But I've also heard, here's the thing, I, we have heard, we had heard like stories, like weird stuff, weird stuff happening there. I don't know where, I, why I did this. I can't tell you why, but I've always, I read, so I used to be, I wanted to be a Ghostbuster as a kid. And I would read like a little, those like how to be like, how to hunt goats or whatever, or how to stop them or whatever. And, so the, and there's, I remember, I remember, I don't know why I remember so vividly, but it said, like, if you tell a ghost that you're not going to hurt them, you're going to leave them alone, they usually leave you alone. So what I said, I remember, I have to remember this. I'm like, hey, we're here to work. We're not going to hear disturb you. Just leave us alone. And I just remember you both look at each other and either you or, 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 or the producer, she was the producer, said, why did you do that? I'm like, there's a ghost here. And I, again, you, I, you, you're, both of you kind of almost dropped, almost dropped. But you guys didn't do shit. You guys didn't do anything. We're like, well, let's just go going. And so I'm like, so what do we need to do? What's happening? And I just remember, it didn't even last a minute, like before I remember hearing the footsteps around, walking around us. You remember that? And then I'm like, which one of you is doing that? And you're both like, we're both right here. Like, how can we do that, Renee? I'm like, Stop messing with me. Like, don't mess with me. I'm like, who else did you get involved? Like, Renee, there's no one here. I don't know what guy to me, but I'm like, all right, let's go. I go walk around. I just keep going. Whatever, it's weird. And then, do you remember this? Above us, it's not like someone was dragging chains. Dude, that was the, because that's what was that the, that was the thing that got that got us to run, right? Like, freaking. No, no, was that, the. It was, okay, it, was, yeah. it was another thing. But we're like, what the fuck is that? Like, what the freck is that? And I'm like, because I'm like, which one of you guys is doing that? Which one, who do you guys have up there? Like, you stop fucking, stop fracking with me. Like, I'm, I, I'm scared right now. <laughs> and they're like, um, Renee, because the person, our, the lady, she worked as a, as a checkout. So at Brooks, you had to do like, check out, equipment checkout stages. And she worked at checkout. Mm -hmm. And she would have to clean up every now and then, right? They have to lock up and clean up. And she's like, there's no way up there. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I don't know if I remember this correctly, but then they start banging around us, like around the building. That's what that that's that's what I heard. Like I, I heard like just from above us, just this huge <laughs> like just banging, you know, like and that was like freaking yeah, yeah, a little chills, you know, like just that. And then and then they, and then we we freaking high tail. All right, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's fly. But no, but there was there was something before that too. There was something before that because I remember I said, you know what? Let's just push through. Cause we I think you we had mostly set up the the dungeon scene. We're setting up the the, the cave, right? We set up the, the startup home set. Mm -hmm. And that was it, right? And then I don't know if you remember this, but I remember like stopping. Because I, I had this really cold chill go up my spine. And I'm like, whatever it is, it's staring at us. And I did this. And Millennium was in front of me. And you were to my left, I believe. or my, I think you were to my left. Mm. And she's like, I can see him. I, I felt her. Like, I feel like he wants to hurt us. She was like, he looks pissed off. And he's, he, he told me, he's, she's like, he has blonde hair, blue eyes. And he looks pissed off. And I think that's when you're like, Let's get the frack out of here. And we just fucking have to tell this. But we're like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I um I remember I remember you um I remember you saying that, both of you saying that. And I remember that we all kind of experienced it differently, even though we experienced it together at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and together. And I thought that was very I thought that was interesting and it kind of gave me like this idea of different spiritual sensitivity. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like in different people, like having experienced something like that, you know what I mean? Like, and I was like, okay, that's actually interesting. Like, cause Renee, like, because the way we didn't tell you anything and the way when you showed up, like you immediately addressed 
the ghost you mm-hmm. know what I mean and like that's why we are when we looked at each other like our jaws were dropping because it was like like I, I, I we didn't tell you at all I why did. we needed your help you know what I mean we didn't tell you why we needed your help because we didn't want to look stupid you know what I mean well I didn't want to look stupid you know what I mean and I don't know she was probably still freaked out but like I didn't want to look like hey bro like there's a fucking ghost can you help me because I'm scared to freaking do my job like freaking <laughs> like you know but like that's <laughs> that's really why I freaking came and got you you know but it's like freaking but then for you to do that and to like just cement like holy crap like freaking this is what we were like kind of thinking what was going on and you're just like this is like kind of cementing like this you know what i mean like yeah and i yeah and i remember her saying you know because i didn't see anything you know what i mean i heard the crashing and i was like all right let's go it's it's over it's like <laughs> like you know what i mean like freaking but yeah no i remember feeling i had never felt that scared and that cold in my life, like even when, like in the winter, I'm like, I just felt like a goosebump on my spine. I remember being like this and being like, right over and just going like this. And I'm like, we have to get out of here. I remember just being like, was this, this overwhelming coldness and fear coming over me. I'm like, what is happening? Like, we got to get out of here. I felt mm-hmm. like we were in danger. And then and we told our, 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 our classmates. <laughs> and then they're like, that didn't go well. They're like, we'll bring a video. I'm like, frack you guys. But Exactly. Yeah, it's like the same thing that I pretty much figured would happen if we went over there and like freaking. And then um, I, I remember. Do you remember the other guy who used to work? He used to hang out with him, Ben. I forgot his last name, but we used to hang out with him. He comes the next day to film. We're, we're, we're wrapping up filming. Uh, mm-hmm. with it. And then he goes, "Oh, I heard you guys." I, he's like, "I remember this." He's like, I heard you guys had an experience last night. I'm like, "Yeah." He goes, "Like you're like the third or fourth person that says that." You know, or you're not the first person that you're not the first person that says that. I'm like, that does not make me feel better at all. I know. <laughs> I know. And I was always a little freaked out around that for like ever since then too. Oh my yeah. So that was <laughs> that was one of my that was one of my first like major big like because I would always hear ghost stories, but that was kind of my first major one. I'm like, okay. This is I don't know what to call it, but for like a better one call it a ghost story. Because to to quote the X Files, I want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> but because I've seen stuff that I don't know what to explain, and to steal from Spock, however impossible, however probable, if you think of the impossible, it must be true, right? Whatever limit must be true. So I'm like, ghosts. I mean, I don't. Right. We, uh, you know, to say, and that, like I said before, like I don't even know that I believe in ghosts after experiencing that, but that is certainly it was certainly. A freaky experience and it was certainly paranormal it was certainly something going on there um that I, my mind doesn't have an explanation for beyond ghosts you know what i mean like um but yeah um do you have anything else to say on that one on that one no i just remember being like okay i'm glad i wasn't alone because if i was alone, i would have lost my shit and i probably would have kept it to myself but since there was there was there was it wasn't just i wasn't alone I had two people to collaborate. That we experienced the same thing. And I'm like, okay, I don't feel crazy saying it because other. I had two of. I have two of the witnesses that experienced it with me. Uh, but I was like, I just like. And then we keep hearing more ghost stories. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of fracked up. <laughs> I just remember, like, just I remember being. I've never been that scared in my life. Like even watching scary movies, I've never been that scared for for my for my safety. I don't know about you, but I've never been like felt for my safety like that bad ever i remember you saying that and like that you know that even wasn't like enough to like say all right let's go because i i didn't have that i had that i mean when we had when i heard that banging sound like that freaked me the hell out right Mm -hmm. like and so that was enough for me you know what i mean but um i didn't get that feeling that you know i mean that you described you know i mean that feeling of intent to harm Mm-hmm. Um, and again, like that's what goes back to my like that sort of form gave me an opinion of like I feel like people have different people have different s- spiritual sensitivity, you know what I mean? Like maybe you felt that because you're even more spiritually sensitive than I am, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, and so like, and I felt like that's probably a thing, you know what I mean? I don't know. Who knows? That's just my how my brain like freaking can be wrapped around it, you know what I mean? But I wish we I wish we had a camera. I mean, what if film school? I wish we had our phones were smarter back then to record that event. So, um, 
Are there any other moments you want to talk about? I have one more I want to talk about. Yeah, um, sure. Right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll dive into my uh, my other one that I had, and then it was also at film school. Take a shot. But um, <laughs> freaking. So we were filming this. Uh, there was a, a classmate of ours who was filming a what they call what are, like a kung fu vampire movie. <laughs> um, that sounds awesome. I want to watch it now. Yeah, yeah. I, I I thought the idea was awesome. I don't I I don't think I ever even saw uh, the finished product, but. He had these connect. He had connects um, with I can and I can't remember the name of the of the series. There's several like you know those ghost hunter type series, um, but he had connections with somebody who does one of those ghost hunter type series on Sci Fi Channel or something or Travel Channel or whatever. You know, they look at haunted places and you know film it or whatever. Um, anyways, so we we're shooting at this haunted castle in Lancaster, California. Um, he bought out a lot of rooms at the bought out rented a lot of rooms at the super eight motel there and uh you know we ended up sleeping by day and filming at night um there's no power in this place it's it's, it's an old you know very old building no uh no electricity so any electricity is like through generators um that we had to kind of leave outside and bring because you know it is a you know old older building and we got to preserve the integrity of it um there's like this dungeon area like um it's, it's hard to kind of describe but like kind of like you know you you imagine in a in a castle like those little kind of spirally staircases and it creates that little structure you know I, i'm not an architect i don't know what these things are called you know it looks like a rook in chess um but <laughs> you uh but at the base of one of those there's like it's a like a wooden floor and you can you, know, you can pull it up like you know like on the pirate ship the little hook the little hook trap door thing you know you pull it up and like down there you just see like cow bones and stuff down there and it was like whoa what's going on down, the, down there obviously not going to go down there but anyways we're filming uh there it's kind of a, just kind of creepy just being there and knowing that it's a haunted castle but um for the part i didn't really feel, um like it was being like I was being haunted or anything, but there were a couple of weird things that happened over the course of that that uh, I think half a week we were there. Um, one, uh, we were just kind of chilling in this kind of like just lounging area um, as uh, people were prepping the shot. We we're just chilling around this table, this kind of like uh, coffee table, sort of large coffee table. There's a couch on either side, and there's you know a good like four or five of us just chilling there um and i'm just playing with my phone or something you know and all of a sudden i hear this sound like a cup dropping and you know i just look to the left like not not like a you know like a like a plastic cup or something you know something we had laying around because you know for crafty or something or probably somebody had coffee in it or something you know um but i hear this cup dropping and i look up you know it's just enough to get me to look up for my phone i look up and around everybody around the table is all kind of has this like a freaked out look on there like they just seen a ghost or something right <laughs> so anyways <laughs> um i'm just like what what what's up you know like and they're just like you didn't see that and i'm like no what happened and they're just like that cup just lifted up off the table moved a little bit to the left and just fell over and i was like what <laughs> It's like that's crazy you know what i mean and like you know who knows maybe they were all in on the joke but you know no they were they were all definitely freaked out about that that just happened you know um and the other weird thing that happened um that i just heard and i was i was adjacent to that i didn't actually see it but it, they're worried for it that happened you know but the other weird thing that happened to me that phone that very phone that i was playing with at that moment <laughs> um and the last day of filming, uh, um, when we left, I remember taking my phone out of my pocket, and there was a there was a hole burned into it, like from the outside, like it was like melted in, and it, and in that part of the phone, it was just like plastic there, so it wasn't like a circuit, like you know, exploded or anything, and my lighter wasn't in that pocket, and even if it was, like there were no burn marks. There was nothing, there wasn't a hole burned into my pants or anything. There wasn't a hole burned into my pocket. Um, there was just that hole seared into my, like something, like somebody took a hot poker and just like kind of poked it into my phone a little bit. <laughs> like, 
and that, that was weird. Like I was, you know, there was no explanation as as to how that would have happened in a minute, but it just it was just weird. That was just uh, another weird thing that happened at a, at a haunted mansion. <laughs> and that's why I don't do that stuff. Like nope, I can't. Like I never met, I never messed with the Ouija board. I never left, like spent a night at haunted mansion. Hell no, hell no. No matter how much you pay me, I can maybe there's a price. Um, <laughs> that's up. That's cracked up. Uh, I've had a couple of like I saw my my dead grandpa like after three months. Like I've I've dreamt about him. Like I but I I don't know if you've heard about lucid dreaming. Like you know you're sleeping, but you're dreaming at the same time. Yeah. So I did that. I was I was in I was. I was here, it was like 10 years ago. My girl had been dead for a couple of years, for a couple of months now. And then in it, maybe maybe two to three months he's been dead. But I'm like, where am I? I'm like, I'm, I know I'm in my bed, but like, where am I right now? But it wasn't anywhere I recognized at all. So that's weird. And then my grandpa comes up to me, but it's, it's, it's a younger version of my grandpa, that one that I've never seen before, but I knew it was my grandpa. And he comes up to me and he goes, Renee, I'm going I'm to watch over you while I'm up there. And he hugs me, and then he lets go of me, and then wings pop out, and then he just kind of just zooms up. But as he does that, dude, I, I do this, and I wake up, and I'm in my bed. I'm like, what was that? That was weird. And then, but what messed me up even more was that, that so I went to work, and then as I'm working, I go there pretty early. I didn't like a lot of my coworkers, so I went there to kind of just like st get started. So I was, I was at work at two, three in the morning, just so I could like, get, get going. So I'm by myself, and then I, so my job was to make VHS to DVDs, make sure everything was, was copacetic and there was no bad tracking or no bad audio tracking. I put it in, and then as, as I come to the side, they come to the side, it comes up to me. And from the profile, I can see it's my, I can see it's my grandpa, that I wonder if I saw my dream. When I turn around, and he's gone. But when I do this again, like I see him coming this way, from this side. And same thing, I'm like, what the? I'm like, right, I'm tired, it's two o'clock in the morning, blah, 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 whatever. I'm just, but there's one thing, my grandpa had this thing, but he would put his hand behind his back and then he would lean over to look at something. That figure did the exact same thing when I was putting tapes in. And I'm like, all right, I still have, I have to get stepped outside of my, out of, out of my house because I'm like, out of the office, because I'm like, that's my grandpa. My grandpa does that, but, but he's dead. He's been dead for three months. What the frack, right? But what made it worse for me, or scared me the most, was that when I came home, I'm like, I think I saw Grandpa today. And he goes, what? I told him my, my dad is. And he goes, that's funny. I saw him today, too. He goes, what do you mean? He was like, I'm watching dishes. As I'm watching dishes, like, he's just sitting there, like, looking at me. And I had to do a double take. But like, I saw him. He goes, I saw him. He goes, I swear it was him. And he, had, he said he had a plaid, like, a plaid shirt. I'm like, he had a plaid shirt, too, when I saw him. And then I'm reaching to my cousins in Mexico. They're like, yeah, we had experiences too where we think it's grandpa, but we don't know. So I'm like, Ugh. and then the other experience, it was about a couple of months too, it was here. Have you heard of old hag syndrome? Or sleep paralysis? Yeah. Old hag syndrome? Yeah. Sleep paralysis? I've heard of that, yeah. Okay. Well, same yeah. thing, pretty much same thing. I guess, I guess the brothers, it's, a, it's a scientific term. But it's pretty much like when you wake up, so this is what happened to me in this room. This was also 10 years ago, maybe 11. It was, it was around Christmas time. My, my parents are going to mess up by myself. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, I, I, was, I was like, I put, I put the heater on, I kind of put a, you know, I'm bouncing. I wake up and I can't move. I, well, here's the thing I know if I try moving, I won't be able to move. And I felt something on top of me, but I'm like, I'm not gonna try to move because I know I won't be able to move. But, and I don't wanna confirm it, if that makes any sense. Like, I wanna confirm that I can't move. So I just close my eyes like that, and I'm like, go to sleep, go to sleep. And then as I'm, as I'm trying to go to sleep, I feel like something watching me from this side and from my feet. Like there are two beings watching me or something on top of me. Like I, I, don't, I don't see them because my eyes are closed, but I feel them. Dude, I started praying so much, dude. I started doing Our Father. 
I do the Hail, uh, Holy uh, Hail Mary. And I do, I, that's how I fell asleep, dude. When I woke up the next day, dude, I just wanted to frack out of here. I'm like, and that was by myself too. So I'm like, who, like, what was that? Like, who, what was that? Like, I don't know what to explain it. Cause that's why I'm like, I've heard of sleep paralysis, but I'm like, again, I felt the presence of something on top of me, sitting on me. And I felt the presence of being watched by maybe humans, maybe angels, maybe demons. But it, again, I, I just felt like, why can I not move right now? Like, oh, it's, it, I, I just I'm like, yeah, no, in, in this very room, I won't be sleeping tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, that, those are my experiences that I, I can think of. I have other ones, but they're not, they're more, no, they're more, they're more of other people's stories that, that I've heard, but I'm like, okay, that's fucked up. Fucked up. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anything else? Anything you want to talk about? No, I'm frack. I'm freak. I'm fracked up enough. <laughs> so, uh, but no, yeah, it's been real and fun. Yeah, this was fun. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad I pushed for this one. Got it out. <laughs> oh, and how it goes. Um, all righty. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Halloween. Have fun. Stay safe. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween.